Today's family is brought to you by Lipitor. Back now at 8.36 this morning on Today's Family, surviving the first year of parenthood. From 4 a.m. feedings to ear infections to countless diaper changes, those first 12 months can be a real challenge. Now two veteran Today producers and moms, Marianne Zellner and Alicia Ibarbo, have put together a new book, Today's Moms, Essentials for Surviving Babies First Year. Marianne, Alicia, good morning to both of you. You have done so many segments on, including things like parenthood on this show, but your great, the greatest thing you've produced are the four kids. Each have two, right? And this book, the inspiration, didn't come from a segment, as it turns out. It came from a car seat. Is that right? It did. I was traveling in Miami, and all of a sudden I was surrounded by all these women saying, what is that? What is it? What is it? And I said, this is a sit and stroll. It's a car seat that turns into a stroller. And I realized I knew about this car seat because one of my coworkers told me about it, because my daughter... Uh, Zuriel, who was six months at the, six months at the time, kept getting kept getting sick and throwing up all the time. And this car seat kept her more upright. And I immediately called up Elysia and said, "We have to write a book. We're going to call it Today's Moms." And I think she thought I was crazy. <laughs> she, <laughs> she still is. So in other words, it's just kind of put to use in a book yeah. all the things that we all deal with on a daily basis based on the people who come through the revolving right. door of the right. Today Show. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah. when you gathered all this information as authors, did you ever look back and think, I wish I had this information when we were first moms? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we, well, first off, we're so fortunate that the four of you were able yeah, to yeah, contribute yeah, yeah, your yeah, first year yeah, story. Yeah, 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 yeah. But on top show of that, own. so many of our contributors who are on the show like Gail Saltz and uh, mm -hmm. Ruth Peters and Joy Bauer, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, they all were so helpful with sharing their words of wisdom. And on top of that, our staff members, you know, our, our colleagues who sit with us every single day in the office. So I think we're, a we couple forget. of two favorites that we have from the book, our coworker Rachel, she was having a bad day parenting, um, you know, one day, and her mom shared with her, she said, the best thing about motherhood is, the, is that fact that you get to do it all over again the very next day. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad thing if one day is not going so well, you have the next day to do it. So, yeah. you know, like and I think, that's the, <laughs> I think that's the message of the book as well, is, is we need to give ourselves a break. Yeah, but your kids can't cancel you. That's they, true. They're, they're sure. <laughs> well, I talked about, I think part of the, the reason uh, that, that I shared the story about when my son Ben was born, to let people know that funny things can happen, and, and, and parenting is kind of scary the way it sneaks up on you, and when Ben was born, I had a C-section, and they took him out immediately, and I was pretty drugged up, and when they brought this little boy back, the, suddenly this baby is coming through the, um, you know, uh, the operating room, and he's Nordic, he's very blonde, I'm going, who is that kid? I said to Richard, why are they bringing that kid through? And I'm, it was Richard who said, it's your son, Mary, let's stop <laughs> Bond right away. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. So there he is. Now, would you think that's my son? Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think it was. Drugs. The <laughs> Anyhow, that was my little share. Well, you so. know, um, I had this uh, experience. You know, we were, you, when you were interviewing, it was really fun because you know you really are. We forget sometimes that we're on a treasure trove yeah. of information with all these experts coming in. But nevertheless, you asked us these questions, and you started asking me about you know fathers and I think you were the one who were both of you were interviewing me and the thing I really realized that's my son Walker is that you know Aww. when when we first become parents our children our, the moms get so connected and so focused on doing everything that sometimes we exclude our husbands and sometimes they don't really necessarily know exactly what to do and sometimes we get mad at them because we expect them to think to know exactly what they should be doing but in fact I, I've learned that fathers become so they, they get they get really really so if you get frustrated with your husband now don't worry because over time usually I think husbands get better this is not a diss this is really yes. the truth men get and my husband now I have to say so fantastic as a father I think we sort of underestimate what how yeah. great they become later on well, yeah, we did some you know, and by the way there are there is advice yeah, for little, fathers yeah, in the book right. as and well that, you yeah. know, speaking of your pretty organized. You even joked around with us once how your coffee table books you had to be just What's so. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that once you, yeah, you, you can't came be along, really organized with a baby around. No. They have their own, you know, yeah, exactly. ideas they call and things like that. Okay. So is this like a textbook? Is that what you want want people to treat it? It's like? anecdotal, it's advice, it's uh, you know, like with Al 
I love you Al's know, story. There, there are two amazing things that we that we pulled out from Al that struck stuck with us, and one of the was when you were adopting yeah. Courtney. Courtney, my, uh, my last two children are, are biological, but Courtney we adopted. And adoption was pretty normal to me. My, my parents adopted three kids. And uh, uh, it, it's, it's this very strange thing in that you drive up and the baby, the car seat's empty. And then an hour later, there's a baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, yeah. But as soon as you hold that baby, that baby's yours. Courtney yeah. is my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, we love that one, but another one that we love, love, love to share is Both an experience you had well, with Layla well, during was, midnight it was, feeding. It was before I had, had lost weight, and uh, <laughs> I, I would get up with her for about the 3 a.m. feeding, and I didn't have time to put on a shirt, and oh. I was getting the bottle, and I was holding Layla, and all of a sudden I kind of felt, whoa! <laughs> no, sweetie, you're not going to get anything there. <laughs> but she latched right away, <laughs> which was pretty good. It's a good time to go to a commercial break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. One last thing we'd yeah. like to thank our producer. Producer, Do you guys Joey remember Cole? that there's time limits <laughs> exactly. to these segments? Wow. Joey Cole, thank you so much. You know, producers are the backbone of this show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The book is Today's Mom's Essentials for Surviving Babies First Year. Marianne Zellner, Alicia Ibarbo, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you. <laughs> up next, Give a our again. food goes upscale with the help of our friends, the Scuttos. But first, this is Today on NBC.